like you to meet Don and Donna. They're the new Tyler twins. Wally, I'm busy making my souffle. Jan, this is important. Tyler Toys is going to make a fortune off of these dolls. Philip, you'll like this. They've got little calculators in them. They can add, subtract, they can even divide. And can they multiply? Philip, please. These dolls are for children. May I make a suggestion? Yes. Would you, Don and Donna, go uh, add, subtract, and divide your way into the dining room and set the table, please? You are a mean man. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Hi, Marcia. Marcia. I have the best news. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> well? What's the news? Oh, yeah. My company, Casual Clothes, has selected some of my sportswear to be reviewed by Mr. Blackwell himself. Wow, Mr. Blackwell, he's the one who puts out the 10 best dress lists. And the 10 worst. Thank you, Mr. Sunshine. <laughs> this is my big chance. It's the next best thing to having my own show. <laughs> I wonder what these two would do if she did get her own show. <laughs> Aren't you a bit fancy for a quiet evening at home? Moi? <laughs> oh, allow me, dear. I do, no problem. <laughs> Hi. Are we going bowling or dancing? We're not going bowling tonight, Harry. I knew it. Afraid of my connection. Nope. There's going to be a lot more action around here. Wally, Harry wants to go bowling. He's not interested in gorgeous fashion models. Why don't you let Harry speak for Harry? <laughs> when did they get here? <laughs> Harry, there's something you should know about these models. And I intend to tell him. Right over here. Harry, this world is made up of two different kinds of people. See, you got your men people and you got your women people. Mm-hmm. Now, women are different than men. <laughs> are you with me so far? Let me cut through this. When you were my age, did you know a lot about women? Yeah, sure. Well, I know twice as much. Ah, ah, ah. No problem. I'm uh, right here. <laughs> Wait till you see these models. <laughs> Entree. <laughs> uh, is this uh, Marsha Logan's house? We're here for a fitting. Your man. <laughs> the last time we checked. <laughs> me at the bowling alley. Thanks for the talk. Hey, hi, hey, guys. Come on in, doing? Lance, Brandon. <laughs> this is my husband, Wally, my sister, Jan, and my brother-in-law, Philip Covington III. Nice Hello. to meet you, Jan. <laughs> Phil? Philip. 
So how are you? Well, I'm... It's fine. Well, let's get started. We don't have a moment to lose. Thanks for helping out on such short notice. For you, Marsha, baby, anything. Oh. Marsha, baby, anything? What's that supposed to mean? That's just the way models talk. You're jealous. I am not. I am not. This is the 80s. I can cope. Hey, hon, isn't that that jacket that you were talking about at lunch yesterday? Yeah, you left a lunch yesterday? <laughs> it's the 80s. I can cope. Okay, Jan, you get the size chart and I'll do the measuring. Can I do some of the measuring? Wait a minute. Wait one minute. Don't you guys even know your own measurements? Sure, but they get bigger every day. Okay, Brandon, come on, you're first. Chest? Chest. 43 inches. 43. Specific. Very tall. <laughs> oh, Jan, come here, I'll do it. Over my dead body. <laughs> Anything to get this over with. And don't get smart, it's out of character. Listen, buddy, I don't know what your problem is, but we're just here to do a job. Oh, yeah, yeah, some job, huh? Getting paid to stand around and flex your muscles all day. <laughs> well, at least we got some to flex, huh? Hoping. Hey, Marcia, you know, uh, Muhammad Wali here is just getting a little too tough for us. Oh, come on, guys, please, I'll never be able to replace him. My husband's just being a little jealous. Me? Jealous? Of him? It's what's up here that counts. Are you saying I'm stupid? <laughs> never, never knew a man whose biceps are bigger than his IQ. You know what IQ stands for? Oh, it means I quit. Well, fuck. Come on, Lance, let's get out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Marcia. Well, you should be, and it's Mrs. Logan to you, Popeye. <laughs> well, I guess I showed him. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Not too many men could speak so well the night before their divorce. <laughs> you ruined everything. Hi, kids. Congratulations. <laughs> show and Mr. Blackwell, I'll bet you couldn't be happier. <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> Any luck? Lots. All bad. Well, can't you get two other male models to work for you? I can't even get an agency. It's Saturday and they're all closed. And Mr. Blackwell's only gonna be in town one day and the show's tomorrow. What could be worse? Your face could turn black. <laughs> Thanks. How could I marry such a dummy? <laughs> Wally Logan, this is for embarrassing me. And this is for ruining my career. And this, this is for proposing to me in the first place. Hi, honey, I'm home. Marsh, I'm sorry. Will you ever forgive me? No. Marsha, please forgive me. No. I was jealous, and I was stupid, and I love you more than anything on this earth. Please, please forgive me. No. I'll do anything to make it up to you. I'll, I'll, I'll swim mountains, and I'll climb oceans, and... 
and I'll even model all the clothes in the show for you. Now, will you forgive me? You're not saying no. <laughs> Wally, you'd really model my clothes. Oh, honey, I'd be proud to model your clothes. <sighs> will you two please stop all this fighting? <laughs> Why break up a good fight? <laughs> Wally, my wonderful husband has agreed to model my clothes for the show tomorrow. Well, that's terrific. Wally, that's very admirable of you. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> guess I'll find a trough for these. <laughs> nice touch. Just a little something. Well, that solves half the problem, but there's way too many changes for one person to handle. Boy, where are you going to find another model this time of night? <laughs> Come on, Philip, it'll be fun. No. Oh, Wally's doing it, so can you. That's not a great argument. <laughs> Philip, you'd make a fabulous model. And you're the only other guy here. I am not going to expose this body to a bunch of strangers. Oh, it can't be that tough. Wally's doing it. Thank you. Oh, Philip. Won't you reconsider for me? No. <laughs> Jen, ladies, please let me handle this. I am a salesman, and obviously this situation calls for some good old-fashioned salesmanship. <laughs> Philip. What? Please. <laughs> Look at all of those buyers. And that's Mr. Blackwell. Oh, the show is either going to make me or break me. Oh, don't worry, sweetheart. Mr. Blackwell has good taste. Besides, your designs are terrific. It's not the designs I'm worried about. It's the models. Yeah. <gasps> Get ready. Oh, break a seam, honey. Oh. Thanks. Testing. Te <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. I'm Marsha Logan, and... <laughs> and Casual Clothes is proud to welcome Mr. Blackwell. <laughs> and to present our new line of sports clothing, guaranteed to boost your spring and summer sales. Our first outfit is designed for all of you who want to get right to the point. Look at all those people. I can't go out there. Sure you can. Wally's right, honey. Everything's gonna be fine. Here, put this on. Your face won't even be seen. No one will know it's you. I'll know it's me. Alice, say something. Oh, God. <laughs> you look sharp in this casual clothes sensing jumpsuit. So don't be foiled. This outfit serves a dual purpose, and it can be worn after you fight to the death. Provided you've won, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. <laughs> Thank you, Philip. <laughs> and now, the latest in scuba wear. Our own designer scuba suit. <laughs> Boating, you'll be sure to catch your favorite mermaid in this outfit. A fish! <laughs> From sea to ski, our next creation is perfect for that special weekend outing at the lodge. Whether your forte is making a run down the ski jumps or sitting with your leg in a cast fire fireplace, you'll always be in style with our ski suit. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> Yes, uh, 
whether being rescued by a, a St. Bernard <laughs> or uh, tripping clumsily on the slope. At least you'll look like a downhill racer in a casual clothes ski suit. <laughs> Now, for our final design, we are proud to present our piece de resistance, Jungle Fever. I repeat, our piece de resistance, Jungle Fever. <laughs> what do I do now? Uh, well, go find out what's wrong, I'll, uh... I'll wing it. <laughs> uh, hi, Mr. Blackwell. <laughs> you like my dress? <laughs> I, uh, I would like to tell you a little bit about the designer of these exciting fashions. Even as an infant, she showed an interest in clothing. She just wanted her diapers changed constantly. <laughs> <laughs> the zipper's stuck and we can't get one yet. The wetsuit. I only announced jungle fever. Just relax, everyone. I can get them out. It's merely a matter of physics. Oh, great. Okay. In order to have the proper balance and tension, you must start the zipper up top. Oh. <laughs> now, the teeth of the zipper will separate easily. Oh. Great. Okay. Oh, no! It's got locked off! Oh, no, Philip! Philip, look at this. Look what you did now. I'm in this for life. We've got to do something, anything. We can fill him. Mr. Blackwell's out there, and he's got to catch jungle fever. <laughs> You're going to have to model jungle fever. Me? Yes. Oh, no. We'll get him out of here. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Wally, let me handle this. Philip. What? Police! Philip, police! <laughs> Which brings us to Marsha's Sweet Sixteen party. <laughs> Mr. Blackwell, you should have been there. You would have loved it. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Oh, but I haven't finished telling them about you yet. You can invite them to your house after the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, Jungle Fever. Oh. I'm not going out there like this. That's right. You're going out there without the robe. Ah! <laughs> Next summer at the beach, your He-Man will be a Tarzan. This lightweight imitation leopard skin cover-up will set the stage for the dramatic moment when he takes it off. <laughs> Philip, take it off. Take it off. Well, I am so honored that you could come to my show. Thank you. To think a man of your... your well-dressedness coming to see my work. I'm thrilled. Thank you. And to thank you state for everything. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Well? 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 Do you think I'd make it as a designer? Let me put it this way. Can you type? Does that mean you didn't like it? My dear, I don't like anything. That's why I'm Mr. Blackwell. <laughs> but those buyers out there, they liked it. And that's all that counts. Think you're going to make it. Wrinkles and creases, wrinkles and creases. I understand. Marsha? Well, at least everything 
turned out all right. Almost everything. <laughs> Can't believe I have to spend the night like this. And I have to sleep with the rubber rainbow. <laughs> Will somebody please get this off of me? Philip, get this off of me. Please. You know, Wally, I've given it some thought, and I've come up with a solution. Oh, great. Yeah, I could get you out of that suit just like that. Oh, thanks. Wally, good night. <laughs> Philip, Philip. Honey, good night. Marcia, Marcia. Honey. You've never had trouble with a stuck zipper before. <laughs> it's Brady Bowl Trivia Time. Okay, let's review. What was the Brady's address? A, 3211 Jefferson Boulevard. B, 4222 Clinton Way, or C, 4515 Sherwood Avenue. This was a tough one. The answer is B, 4222 Clinton Way. So how did you do? We hope you had fun playing Brady Bowl Trivia. Stay tuned as the Brady Bowl continues with Brady 500. Bobby's childhood wish to be a race car driver takes a deadly turn.